Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to day 23 of Quranic Contemplations. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Ha antum ulai tuhibbunahum wa la yuhibbunakum wa tu'minuna bil kitabi kullih. وَإِذَا لَحُوكُمْ حَالُوا آمَنَّا وَإِذَا خَلَوْا عَضُّوا عَلَيْكُمُ الْأَنَامِنَ مِنَ الْغَيْضِ قُلْ مُوتُوا بِغَيْضِكُمْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ عَلِيمٌ بِذَاتِ الصُّدُورِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Here you are, you love them, the non-Muslims, but they do not love you, and you believe in all the scriptures. When they meet you, they say, we believe. But when they are alone, they bite their fingertips in anger, in rage. Say, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, May you die of your rage and anger. In Allah alimun bidati sudur, Allah surely knows best what is hidden in the heart. Now this is a message for all Muslims that many times, especially those who live in the West, we practice Islam, we wear a beard, we wear a thobe, we go to the masjid early hours of the morning, late hours of night, especially in Ramadan, women wear niqab and hijab and wear loose clothing. And we know in certain countries, in Europe particularly, you can't wear niqab, you can't give the adhan, you can't build minarets. But they also have this freedom of religion. Now the freedom of religion is an amazing law, it's an amazing right, and we should appreciate it. Where, especially in England, we don't have such restrictions, so we should appreciate this blessing that we can practice Islam freely, maybe better than even some Muslim countries. Especially when it comes to khutbah and bayan, we can talk openly. In certain countries, if you object against the government and their laws and the monarchy, they will lock you up and they will arrest you. In England, we don't have that. But one thing we have to remember is when we practice our religion, if non-Muslims are not happy, with the deen, then leave them. Do not try to please them. By all means, give them, give them da'wah. Especially in Ramadan, they're going to ask, why are you not having lunch? Why do you eat late? Why do you wake up early in the morning? Share your iftar with them, with your neighbors. Encourage them to fast, mashallah. I know many who have fasted full Ramadan, half of Ramadan, whatever their intention is. Let Allah be the judge of that. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us all and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide those who don't believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the Qur'an, may Allah guide them to Islam.